We're going to be using GIMP in a Windows Vista environment. Uh, GIMP uh, is an open source uh, graphic imagery photo manipulating software. Uh, it's also available for Linux um, and uh, both uh, dashboards are virtually identical for Windows and for Linux. So what we're going to do, we're just going to see how to set up the work uh, the, the work uh, desk. Uh, so I'm going to go to my programs and uh, fire up old GIMP. Uh, GIMP 2. I'm running. Uh, I'm using GIMP 2.6. So as you can see, when we first open it up, it's uh, you know there's a couple things there. There's your work area and your toolbars. Uh, one of the strong points of GIMP is the ability to work with layers, but you can't see the layers here. You just see these uh, two, two boxes, these two panels, and you see my nice organized desktop in behind. Um, no confusion there. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, activate the panels. Now it can be done with uh, Control plus L but I'm going to show you through here dockable dialogues uh, also referred to as dockable panels so we're going to go to the layers and here we have the layers but still not you know quite looking right you're saying well how am I going to you know work with this little puny little screen so we're just going to expand that click on the, the big box here and uh, we can move these panels see they're movable so you have your work area you have your toolbox and you have your layers panels so what we're going to do we're going to open up an image and uh, we'll find it where it's at uh, okay we're going to go into photo manipulations originals and we're going to use this background uh, keep so what you have here is the exact uh, image size um, and that's what you could be working from if you wanted to do any kind of uh, enhancements to that what we're going to do we're going to create a cutout uh, using layers and masks uh, there are other ways of, of accomplishing the same thing but for uh, for our purposes we're going to stick with the uh, layers and masks first thing to notice is in this layers uh, panel is that there isn't anything there that will change once we load an image into it so that's what we're going to do right now <coughs> so okay we're going to open up an image and we're going to pull out old mongrel mutt here there's old mongrel mutt he's a fine looking animal there's no doubt about it we're going to keep it and there he is mongrel mutt in the bathtub after doing massive destruction whatever that was well <laughs> it's no longer there <coughs> so okay the, our first step is 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 to go to our layers and we have to add an alpha channel so with our mouse we right click and we move all the way down and we click on add alpha channel uh, that is now done uh, we're going to create another layer uh, and that's the one that we're going to be working from not this uh, background one but we're going to create a copy of the background and there's our copy of the background so now that we're we're there we've got to do one other thing before going on to the next group of uh, instruction and that's two create a layer mask uh, so uh, we work all the way down and we see add a layer mask and we're going to use uh, we're going to initialize the layer mask as white because we're going to need to work with contrast later on in order to really do our cutouts um, we're going to set up contrast and then we're going to uh, convert the image to black and white and that'll make sense once we get there so just to uh, touch on what we've did uh, we've opened up uh, we pulled a, a, an image in then in our layers uh, panel uh, we added an alpha channel then we duplicated the layer with the image and once we've done that we created a layer mask as uh, earlier mentioned is that we have to work with uh, contrast here so what we're going to do now 
mind you now there might be some images that the background is very dark uh, so this technique may not be the best for that particular type of situation but for lighter backgrounds this works pretty good uh, so what we're going to do we're going to uh, lighten this up and we're going to set up some contrast between my face and uh, and the background so okay so we're going to move up to colors right up here uh, okay so we're at colors and we're going to come down to curves very important okay so now we have our curves uh, panel box and to set up the, the dark colors uh, use this bottom one here and we'll sit down and you'll see that uh, Okay, uh, I forgot to tell you something important here, which is very important. Okay, you have to come back up here and click onto that so there's a white box. Okay, now we'll go back to our uh, layer, uh, uh, to our colors, and we'll go to curves. Okay, uh, so like I say, to set up our darker ones, we come down on, onto the this line here, and you can see mutt face is getting uh, relatively dark. And we're going to come up. Ah, uh, that just may be just about right. Maybe a little too much there. Uh, okay, so we have that. Now we're going to lighten up uh, the, the, the other part of it. So we're going to come up to the top part here. And as you see, you know, as I move that towards the left, it gets lighter and lighter. Uh, okay, so that's uh, going to be about right. I don't know if I can get if I get too, if I get too crazy with it. Of course. Uh, it's not good. So we've got to find a happy milieu there. Uh, okay, so basically what I'm kind of looking for, well, I've got something down here with his tail. So I'm going to adjust that and I'm going to see what happens if I lighten him up over this side here. I say it's in trying to find a, a happy balance here. Okay, just a little bit more up. Uh, okay, so what I'm trying to do is you know, trying to free him as much as possible. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That's just a tad. Okay, now the dark ones up here, you know, they're still there. That's what I mean is if uh, you get a background that's too, that's too dark, that could uh, run you into problems. Uh, so, okay, so we've got that all nice and set up and everything. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, let's see, we could uh, we could change this around and uh, try eraser here. If I can find my eraser, there it is. See if we get anything here. Uh, let's set up our our uh, brush size. Okay, that's not going to work. It's coming out as a different color. Uh, Z. Okay, so I'll try painting that. Uh, same thing. Let's we'll set that up a little higher. There we go. We can get rid of that and that, and we'll get rid of that here. And we'll get a lot of rid of this stuff here that we don't need. So there we go. We get a lot. Of, just work this out really quickly. Blank that out. And so you'll see that uh, once we get into uh, almost be dirt on the screen. Just clean that out. So we just got a, a background of just mongrel mutt. We try to isolate them as much as what we can. Um, I don't have to be overly fussy, just uh, clean about as much as we can. Oh, what's that right there? There we go. And so, okay, so we've kind of isolated them. So what we're going to do now, we're going to change him from uh, color to black and white and we're going to go back up to the color section and we're going to come down here to this desaturate and we're going to go with lumino luminosity uh, you'll see what the effect is going to be once we do that okay so now that is now done so we're ready for the next part of this here uh, so that's going to be to try to inverse uh, the image. Uh, so the outside becomes black and he becomes w uh, white. 
uh, just, men as just mentioned is now what we have to try to do is uh, do an inverse and that's going to be the reverse. He's going to become white and the background is going to become black and you'll see it'll all make sense. Uh, so just bear with me. So we're going to go back up to colors and we're going to come to invert. And as the term implies, invert is going to reverse everything. And there it is. Boy, gee, it looks like a negative, doesn't it? Um, so, uh, yeah, so so it looks like it looks like a negative uh, and we're going to do a little bit more work to this here so what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom up on this little guy so it'll be easier to work with uh, so I went over to my zoom tool which was that over over here uh, okay now I'm going to go to my paintbrush uh, because what we're going to do is try to get as much weight I into him as uh, as possible and uh, okay we got a nice brush here so I'm just doing this quickly here I uh, try to get him as much as uh, as possible. Like I said, I'm going through this quick, and it's just more or less to give you an idea. Uh, of course, the more you pay attention to detail, uh, the better your end product is going to be. Uh, okay, so get up along here and uh, shrink my brush down size a little bit more about a three so I can get up into his ears and we do that, like I said, I'm doing this quite quite quick uh, now there's a reason I'm leaving these little edges out and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see that okay so and okay uh, so, what am I missing here? Uh, okay, so anything that's white is going to show through, and anything that's, uh, you know, that's uh, black uh, isn't. Uh, it's, uh, this is the center that's going to uh, that's going to show through. Okay, let's get his ear there a bit. Okay, so we now have that done. Okay, to save time, I went ahead and filled him in pretty well. And if you'll notice down here, I paid a little attention to the hair detail and up here, but that's just to kind of show the point that using masking, you can get pretty accurate. Uh, but before we get going, I made a mistake up here. It was this one here that we were supposed to put the uh, mask to. So when you make a mistake, uh, uh, you have to fix it. And of course, I'm going to delete that, that layer mask. There we go. And then I'm going to add it to here where it's supposed to be. And that add layer mass uh, full opacity yeah, uh, just like what we did before so there we go we, we're back in business so now that we have the proper mass in the right place we're going to take this guy here and we're going to cut and paste it into this one here uh, we could do it by uh, control C and control P but we're uh, for this purpose here we're going to do it this way here copy and move down here, go back to edit, and paste. And you'll notice something neat's happened up here. Uh, we've got this little guy right, uh, you know, uh, right, th right there. That's that's ha that's happened. So that's kind of uh, 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 different. But it's telling you that you're on the right track. Okay, so nothing spectacular has happened. Watch this here. We're going to get rid of this guy here. We don't need this one here anymore. make a liar out of me. Okay, why is that working? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and put it into here, but we're going to cut and and copy. So now we're going to do this here. We're going to come up over to the edit and we're going to cut. I'm going to make sure that I have this guy highlighted. There we go. Always double check um, because you can uh, do a lot of work and then uh, find that you've uh, uh, you end up spending time in trying to correct problems that you've uh, fixed. So, okay, so now we're going to do a cut. He's gone and we're going to come over to here and we're going to paste it. And we come back to uh, the 
editing and we do a paste and look at that we now have a a, a background all right we have a foreground and it's on a transparency now to 